Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious roast duck that's not too fatty and has amazing crispy skin using a rotisserie on your big green egg. Of course you can do this on any grill and even without a rotisserie if you don't have access to one. Stick around and I'll show you five secrets that will help you make perfect grilled duck at home yourself. Okay, let's jump right in. Tomorrow I'm gonna to grill this Maple Leaf Farms duck that was raised on a vegan diet of corn, soy, and wheat. But I've got a little work I need to do tonight to get the duck prepped. Are you ready for secret number one? The first secret to perfect barbecued duck, like with all poultry, is a proper brine. I'm gonna start by making a basic poultry brine by combining a quart of water, a half cup of kosher salt, and a half cup of dark brown sugar, bringing it all to a boil. The sugar and salt will actually infuse into the meat and pull out any extra water that's in the duck while it brines. As soon as it boils, I'll cut the heat off and add another quart of ice cold water, a tray of ice cubes, and to get some more intense flavor, a 12 ounce bottle of hard apple cider. While the brine cools down in the refrigerator, let's get the duck ready. I'll trim the wing tips off since they'll just burn on the grill anyway. Are you ready for secret number two? Okay, duck has a thick layer of fat right under the skin. This is why so many people think that duck is too fatty, because they don't know how to remove that fat. The good news is that this is soft fat and it's gonna render very well over the fire but we need to give it some place to go other than just back into the meat. So I'm gonna use a fork to pierce the skin, literally 75 times all over and on both sides of the duck. I'm poking through the skin and into the fat, but not so deep as to puncture the meat. I want the meat to be able to retain all of its intramuscular fat so it stays moist and tender. Now, all of the excess fat will drip out of the bird while it cooks. But don't worry, that duck fat is liquid gold and we're not gonna let it go to waste. By now my brine should be nice and cool. So I'll put the brine and the bird into a two and a half gallon Ziploc bag, squeeze out any excess air, and place the whole thing back into the refrigerator to brine overnight. Welcome back to the kitchen. Our duck has been wet brining for about 20 hours. Are you ready for secret number three? To get the skin extra crispy, after we remove the bird from the wet brine, we're gonna do a quick dry brine to get any water out of the skin. All I have to do is sprinkle kosher salt all over the bird and let it sit uncovered in the refrigerator for a few hours while we get the grill and the rest of our ingredients ready. I'll meet you out at the grill. I've got a new tool I'll be using on Darth, our extra large big green egg today, a Jotisserie made by Kamado Joe. They make two sizes, one that fits the Kamado Joe Classic or large big green egg, and this bigger one that fits the Big Joe or this extra large big green egg. As you can see, it's pretty easy to install. I'm just gonna place the ring on top of the base of the smoker, Slide the motor onto the built-in mount and slide the rotisserie skewer onto the motor to make sure everything fits, and it does. And as you can see, because of the angle on the ring, when I close the lid, I still form a seal. So let's get the grill lit. I'm using Fogo Premium Hardwood Lump Charcoal, which I'll gather all to one side of the charcoal basket. This will allow me to cook the duck over mostly indirect heat. To monitor and control the grill temperature, I'm gonna set up my signals and bellows from Thermoworks. There's no grate for me to attach the temperature probe, so I'm gonna take out the grill thermometer and just put my grill probe right through that hole. The reading I get will be a little hotter than if I was at grate level, so I'll just adjust my cooking temps accordingly. I would normally cook at 250 degrees Fahrenheit for the beginning of the cook, but I'll set it for 275 because of the probe placement in the lid. I'm starting off low and slow, so the fat has lots of time to render as the duck cooks and to make sure I'm cooking evenly all the way through. While the egg heats up, let's head back to the kitchen and finish our prep and talk about secret number four. 
To get the right taste and texture on the skin, we want to use an acidic glaze that has elements of both sweet and savory. I'll strip and chop the leaves from three sprigs of fresh rosemary and then chop up a few garlic cloves. I'm using a half dozen here because the ones I have are small. I'll fire up my little stove and add a half cup of fresh orange juice and three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and bring them to a boil. Then I'll reduce the heat to a simmer and add in that rosemary and garlic as well as a half cup of orange marmalade. I'm gonna let this simmer and cook down for about 10 minutes until it has a thick, sticky texture. Now let's get the bird ready to go on the grill. As you can see, the skin has really dried out over the last few hours of dry brining. I'm gonna trim off the extra skin from the neck area and truss the duck with butcher's twine. Under the tail, around the tips of the legs, around the wings, and we should be secure. Now I'll put the spit rod through the duck, making sure to get the forks deep into the meat to keep it secure as it spins. Okay, it's time to cook. I'll meet you at the grill. Darth is running at 275 degrees, with the charcoal all stacked up in the front as we saw before. I'm going to add a couple of chunks of apple wood for flavor, and I'll put a pan below the duck to capture the fat drippings. Wait until you see what we're gonna do with this. I'll put the whole spit, duck and all, onto the grill and insert the end into the motor. To keep track of the cook, I can't use the food probes for my signals because the wires would get caught in the rotisserie. So this time, I'm gonna use a wireless thermometer from Meter that connects via Bluetooth to this block and then over Wi-Fi to my phone. I've got the meter in the breast of the duck and I'll set the app to alarm when we get close to our target 165 degrees. While the duck starts to cook, let's head back into the kitchen. Okay, here's secret number five. Don't let that amazing duck fat go to waste. I'm gonna make duck fat potatoes right in the smoker with the duck. I've got a couple of dozen Redskin mini potatoes that I just washed. I'll cut them all in half and set them aside. The duck has been on the grill for about 30 minutes. Let's go add these potatoes and see how it's doing. We've got a nice brown color starting. I'll add the potatoes to the drip pan and baste the duck with our glaze. And I'll glaze again every 30 minutes until the duck breast reaches 150 degrees. Then I'll crank the pit temperature up to 450 for the final few minutes to crisp up the skin. Let's do this. Hey, Leah, I made duck. Yeah. And potatoes. It looks really good. It does look really good. It smells really good too. I did this on the rotisserie on the big green egg. Bet you didn't even know I had a rotisserie for the big green egg. No. Yeah, so it's new. New toys are good. But this, I think this is gonna be good. I tried to get the skin nice and crispy. Okay. 
and I cooked the duck on the rotisserie and then the potatoes in a pan underneath so all the duck fat dripped in and cooked the wow. potatoes. You know how I feel about duck fat. I spray it on everything. Yeah. All right, what do you think? Are you hungry? I'm really hungry. Okay. You want to start with the drumstick? I'm going to start with the drumstick. Okay. All right, you guys, uh, you guys get a wing, all right? Or you can have some potatoes. Yeah, you can have some potatoes too. We'll have test the potatoes in a minute. Are you ready? Cheers. 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 <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> well, I think the skin's nice and crunchy. Yeah. And the meat is nice and moist, right? And yeah. tender, didn't dry out at all. Oh. All right, I think this strategy is gonna work. Should we try a potato? Yeah. All right, let's take one in the other hand. And you guys get this potato right here. Ready? Oh. Woo! Okay, no throwing potatoes at your dad. It's a rule. <laughs> we don't play with our food. Cheers. All right, cheers. You guys get that one. Cheers. cheers. Wow, mm -hmm. they're really mm -hmm. soft. Duck fat makes everything taste better. It's like bacon. Mm -hmm. I don't know, bacon's pretty awesome. So listen, if you liked learning these secrets, we've got lots more videos that have secrets, including this one right here that I think you're going to like. If you're not a subscriber already, this would be a great time to hit that subscribe button. And then click on this, watch this video next, and we'll see you next week here on Eat, Eat More, more Vegans. Vegans.